spend a lot of time thinking about legacy and how to leave a good one behind. Of course, we all want to leave a good legacy behind. Then that got me thinking, what exactly does legacy even mean? So I found as much as I could. I never opened a book because the internet. So this brought up a lot of questions. When we're gone, will we be remembered? Will people talk about us? Will our life have mattered? Will people know we even existed? Do we delete our social media profiles or do we leave them on, kind of like a digital tombstone? Do we give our passwords to our friends so they can manage our profiles for us? But then what happens when they're gone? And I don't know if I trust them with that. Then I learned about how Tibetan monks treat legacy and it basically answered my question. Hey, my name is Peter Paul, and in this video, I'm going to share the answer about how to leave a legacy. And if you're new to the channel, this is all about living a simple and happy life, period. So let's break it down. What is legacy? According to the dictionary, legacy is broken down into two things. First, it's a thing, like a gift, money or property. Second is impact. When we think of others who left a legacy, the names Einstein, Nelson Mandela, Martin Luther King, and even Jesus Christ come up. And since none of them were known for the amount of money they left behind, I think it's fair to equate legacy with impact. So if you want to leave a legacy, leave an impact. But I don't think legacy builders ever intended to build a legacy. I think they were just people who did what was right and what they believed in. So instead of asking, how do we leave a legacy? The question should really be, should we even try to leave a legacy? And this is where the Tibetan monks come in. Tibetan monks create these beautiful art pieces called sand mandalas. They do this by dropping a few grains of sand at a time, and it can take days to even weeks to complete. And the most interesting thing about it is when they're done, they just destroy it as though it never existed. Why? Because the underlying message of creating it in the first place is that nothing is permanent. Nothing. Everything is ephemeral. Everything is in flux. Nothing lasts forever. And that's the point. And I think that's the answer to the legacy question, which honestly challenges my idea of leaving a legacy because I do want to leave one behind. Maybe it's a bit of money or property for my family. And when I used to be a teacher, it was always my goal to leave a positive impact on my students. Lately, it's been these videos. Hopefully, these videos will make someone smile one day, even when I'm gone. And as exciting as it is to think about the impact we can leave behind, it can be a bit stressful, which is the adult word for scary. It can almost be anxiety inducing to think about how much you will matter to this world when you're gone. Will anyone remember me? What will I be remembered for? Will anyone even know I existed? Then I remember a stoic saying that goes, legacy is for other people, since you're dead. And Marcus Aurelius quoted, people who are excited by posthumous fame forget that the people who remember them will soon die too, and those after them. Basically, it means that everyone who remembers you when you die will also die. And there's even a Bible verse that says, from dust you came and to dust you shall return. So what's the point then if nothing lasts? That's the best part. It means that instead of focusing on leaving a legacy that will eventually be forgotten, instead, we can focus on each moment we have in front of us, each grain of sand. And if we are present enough to enjoy as much of those moments, then that would mean that we would have enjoyed our life. I hope. Does it mean that we don't try to accomplish anything? No. It's actually a reminder to accomplish the things that really matter. And that's up to you. How do we make sure we are remembered? We don't. It's not up to us. How do you leave a legacy that lasts? You don't. You acknowledge that everything won't last. Therefore, you live your life now, each and every moment. And when it's gone, it's gone. While it can get a bit sad thinking about everything ending, isn't it fun that it hasn't ended yet? You and I are still here. That's good, right? 
So let's make each moment count. Of course, I'm only talking about our physical lives. I know everybody has their own beliefs on what happens after you die. As someone who believes in God, I certainly do. So if you've gone this far, thanks for watching. If you want to watch my intro into Stoicism, you can click here. And if you want an uplifting video about pondering death, you can click here. Anyways, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. I'm Peter Paul, and you and I matter. For now. So let's enjoy it while we can. I'll see you in the next one. Will we be, we be, 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 be. This is all about... I almost had it.